Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and we have a battle with Sora that I am very interested, mostly because I see a Delphox, and Sora's message on the uh, comment here is, Hey, I was wondering if you could review this battle. Hadn't had much luck winning, and my rating isn't very good, but I recently came up with this strategy, and I think it will blow everyone away. I look forward to getting blown away, Sora. I really do. Let's see how this goes. Alright, let's let... Let's let Miguel issue his challenge. Let's warm up here, and I'm I'm stoked. I want to see what goes on right now. Come on. So Delphox Kanga, Kangaskhan being still a decent pick in double battles, having a lot of strength behind him. Oh man, it's gonna be just gonna be good. I want I want to know what's going on. Come on. So Kangaskhan evolves fake out. That's actually really just good strategy, you know. Fake out, it essentially turns it into a 1v2 for the turn. Worst case scenario, your your ally shouldn't go down. I'd imagine Delphox has like a focus sash or something. Because he just used roleplay. So now he has parental bond. Um That's probably not a good thing for the opponent. Radicate with a high, with a Super Fang. Super Fang I, I like as a move. It hits tanks pretty well. So that's one psychic, and that's the second psychic, and that's a KO. Not bad. Getting some use out of Delphox, after all. Delphox also being moderately tanky, works out pretty well. So, chip away is an interesting move. I had to actually look up, uh, I, I had to like start looking up chip away. So, it inflicts damage, ignoring any changes to the target's defense and evasion. Which means, it's like Sacred Sword, but better, because if the Pokemon is spamming evasion, you can hit it, which is not bad. Also, it's a normal type move, which means that it's going to get stabbed, Prince Bomb's going to hit hard, and it's pretty awesome. So unfortunately for Greninja, the Water Shuriken does not finish off Delphox, and here's another really awesome thing. So, Mystical Fire, right there, lowers special attack, which means you drop your opponent's special attack by two stages. Let me say that again, two stages. Chip Away also hits on Greninja. Not quite enough to KO, but still the idea is there, and not bad. I think that's a pretty good strategy so far. So, Delphox unfortunately does go down. Took too much damage from the Water Shuriken, but it was still a pretty cool thing to see it set up that roleplay. And now we have Greninja! I feel like this Greninja knows roleplay too. Please, please do that. That'd be funny and make my day. Come on. Opposing Greninja fainted. Roleplay! So this is a roleplay Kanga set. I like it. I like it a lot. That's that's fun. That's pretty fun right there. So, Floyd gives you Dialing Gleam. That's, that's whatever. Unfortunately though, you lo like I'm trying to I'm trying to do the math on roleplay though. Because Hydro Cannon, that's old school right there. Is it KO? Ah, uh, not the KO, unfortunately. Um, that's actually an interesting pick, though, when you think about it, because Prinzel Bond is essentially one and a half times damage. When you're using a move, or when you're using, um, Protean, Protean gives you Stab, which is effectively one and a half times more damage. So, that's just that. That's my thought on that. But it ended up working, it ended up winning, and it ended up being just enjoyable all the way. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Delphox getting some use and role-playing the Parental Bond. I want to know what else is possible, you know, if you copy the parental bond, skill swap something else into Kanga, that could be cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed Fan Fridays this weekend, and this weekend, this week, and I hope you all have a nice day.